Hello, today we're gonna to be talking about how to use a one-touch vario meter to check your blood sugar. When you open the box, you'll find a carrying case inside that can be unzipped to reveal all the parts and pieces that you'll need to check your blood sugar effectively. The first piece is the glucometer, which looks like this, and this is the actual device that will record your blood sugar reading. Then you'll find a vial of test strips inside, and the test strips are what you use to apply your blood sample to the glucometer so you can get your result. Finally, you'll also find a lancing device inside along with the accompanying bag of needles so that you can stick your finger to obtain the blood sample. We'll talk about that in just a minute. Let's talk about the test strips for a second. Notice that they're saved in an airtight container. Once you remove a test strip, it's important that you close the container because humidity and moisture can affect the strips. So you wanna make sure it stays closed. You also wanna avoid extremes of temperature like a very damp bathroom, a very hot or cold car. It's best to store your test strips in a cool, dry environment. Now let's take a look at the test strip up close. Notice the front is gold while the back is white. On the front, you'll notice a couple of more things. The first is that the bottom has two prongs while the top just has one. And in the middle at the top of the strip, you'll notice a dark gold band. That's gonna be what you use to apply your blood sample when it's time. To get the glucometer ready, you're gonna insert the end with the two prongs right where you see the picture at the top of the machine that tells you to do so. So you'll slide it in that hole and push down until it's fully inserted. It turns the machine on automatically and then shows you a picture of a flashing drop of blood indicating that it's ready for you to apply your sample. Once you've stuck your finger and obtained the sample of blood, you're gonna apply that drop of blood to the side of the machine right where you see the dark gold band at the top. Try not to come in from the top of the strip to apply that sample. Simply apply it from the side so that that dark gold band can soak up the drop of blood and effectively give you your reading. So let's talk about how to get the sample out of your hand. You're gonna use this lancing device. And we're also gonna use one needle, which looks like this. There's a round part at the top followed by a long skinny part at the bottom. So you need to insert the needle inside the lancing device and you do so by removing the top cover where you see the picture that tells you to twist and then inserting the long skinny end of the needle into the hole that you see. Once it clicks into place, you can uncover the needle by twisting off the circle at the top. There's the needle. And then you want to replace the cover that you removed by setting it down on top and locking it back into place. Notice at the bottom of the device, there is a green dial that twists and it changes the number that you see in the window right above it. The numbers go from one to seven. And what that's doing is it's controlling the depth at which it will stick your finger. One being the lightest and seven being the deepest. The goal is to find the lowest number that you can that will still allow you to obtain a sample of blood and only turn the number up to a deeper number if you're having trouble obtaining the sample on a lower number. Once you've set your depth, there's a two-step process to actually sticking your finger. The first is to place your thumb in the middle of the device where you see the circle and push down on that entire middle section and then release. That gets the needle inside pulled back and ready to go. Then the second step is to use the hole at the end of the device to put up against your finger and then use the other hand to depress the green button to actually fire the needle and stick your finger. So once again, you pull down on the center of the device and release and then you'll hold the device up to your finger and depress the green button to actually stick your finger. Notice we're using the sides of our finger instead of right in the middle because you have more nerve endings there and it tends to be a little more uncomfortable. Also, that allows you to use different sides and different fingers every time you check your blood sugar, which keeps one particular finger from getting uncomfortable. So, once you've stuck your finger, squeeze from the base of your finger towards the fingertip to squeeze out the drop of blood. And then, as discussed before, you apply the sample of blood right to the side of the test strip where you see the dark gold band. After about four or five seconds, your reading will show up across the screen. 
and then you can simply pull the test strip out and discard it in the trash and that will automatically turn the machine off. But please note too that the machine has a memory that can be accessed by using this main menu button and these arrow buttons so that you have a way to keep track of your blood sugars and you can also bring this device with you when you go to follow up with your doctor so they can review them as well. So that's it as far as using the One Touch system to check your blood sugar. Please call the Diabetes and Nutrition Center with any questions at 334-528-6800. Thank you.